Okay, so let's uh, get into uh, the breaking news. Of course, this uh, coming through from Ocean State. Four members of staff of the Ocean State College of Technology uh, in SRK who were abducted by gunmen on Tuesday have reportedly been released. This is coming through our newsroom within the last hour. Our correspondent reports that the release of the captives has been confirmed by the police public relations officer in Ocean State, Folasha Diodoro. The four Ocean State College of Tech mem staff members are among eight persons that were originally abducted by the gunmen, including two students. While the abductors reportedly killed one of the victims soon after they were kidnapped, they later released three of the captives, comprising one lecturer and two students. The released captives claimed the assailants were armed hemstmen who were demanding a ransom. China's television cannot confirm those uh, claims at the moment. It is also not yet clear if a ransom had been paid to secure the release of the victims. That's the, one of the news coming through from Ocean State, Nigeria's southwest. Uh, we're going to flesh that up for you as we get to our news hour at the top of the hour. Meantime, it's going to be on the business front, on the economic front, a very special cabinet meeting today by President Buhari will be sitting at the head of the table uh, to look at the final details of budget 2019 document, which has been put together by the various ministries and departments and agencies for onward uh, submission to the National Assembly uh, next week. The chief focus will be oil prices, which has been very volatile uh, to the south over the last couple of days, $58 a barrel on Thursday. These are part of the stories making the headlines. But let's finish off. Next week will be very heavy in terms of economic data on Monday. to also help uh, investors to take their decision in the market. It's either you continue to invest in the equity market, where we've been seeing some risk of sentiments of these local investors, and of course the uh, emerging markets that had some fund here, and of course the uh, withdrawal of some investors as well, and moving into the fixed income market. So when this data come in, that will help them to shape, of course, their investment sentiment. We also know that the DMO is expected to launch or to release its uh, circular for the uh, uh, auction, uh, monthly auction in the markets any moment from now. These are a whole lot of numbers that investors are waiting for. Next week, you also know that uh, President Muhammad Buhari will be presenting the data, uh, the, the budget 2019 to the National Assembly. These are sort of things that investors are really waiting on the sideline for before they uh, take their position. However, what the market is saying right now in terms of the key benchmark index is really flat. We haven't seen much uh, investments in the market. Uh, less, than five point, uh, less than 5 million units of shares have been traded so far, and it's valued uh, that's about 150 million naira, uh, less than 200 deals of transactions in the market. So for Diamond Bank, which has been on bid for the past few days, now is still rising on its share price, up some 4.30% this morning, and it looks like it's going to get to 10% again today or thereabouts. Uh, as we speak, it is uh, priced at 90 kobo, Per share, if it probably hits uh, one, uh, 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 ten percent or about ten percent, then it will come in closing at about one naira today. Uh, we also know that Nigerian breweries and Zenith Bank are currently found on the top trades uh, list of the NSE, as we speak. GT Bank is down, however, by some zero point four three percent, and that's. Uh, disparity that we're seeing in the financial services sector between uh, the insurance sector and, of course, the banking names is still there right now. A whole lot of the insurance firms are currently on offer in the market, and investors are now selling down on the banking names, Boson. 
uh, Tempo, uh, thank you very much uh, for bringing us up to speed. But again, if you notice, I got a blue tie on today. Uh, you're keeping the red tie because I thought I was getting uh, too excited that we had a Santa Claus rally coming through over the last two sessions, but we lost that yesterday. So I got a little bit upset this morning. So in my wardrobe, I look for a uh, striped, uh, blue striped uh, tie, uh, so that uh, I think I lost my faith in Santa Claus. If, if he happens to come to the market by Monday, let's find out. See you then, everybody. Have a great weekend.